Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. From time to time, I will generate new Q1E engraving fonts, or likewise, I'll also come up with updates. Um, a font that I came up with a while ago but is not in your font pack is a, a, a monogram font. So I'm going to show you how to install it. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my hard drive and I happen to have put it on my flash drive and all of my fonts start with Q and E and let's say I put it in this little new font so here's this interlocking monogram I'm gonna go ahead and right mouse click on it click on copy go back to my C drive of my computer and the directory that I'm working from is is version 9 there and I'm going to drop it in with the fonts right mouse click and paste so now my font 40 interlocking monogram uh, VEF is in this directory so I'll just close this out and go back up to engrave lab go file down to install to fonts and you can see it's searching that directory if it isn't you can browse to it it could even be in a different directory but I'm going to click on search now if you want you can click on install all or if you want to ensure that it's in this list you can scroll through and find just that font and install just one or install all for this I'm going to just install just one and then just close this out now most people have already set up font detective so I'm gonna add that font to my Q&E list so I just clicked on text didn't put any text in click on your font detective and already the group Q&E is selected I want to go to options I want to edit this group and here's all my fonts available to me and I'm going to go down here to F40 the interlocking monogram and here's the Q&E group that you have probably existing and I'm going to click on add and now let me just see if it was in the list now and there it is Okay, and then I say OK, and, and I'm going to go ahead and select that, and now I'm going to come up here, go to my fonts, come on down to my Q&E fonts, look for font number 40, double click on it. Now my initials are FMS so for monograms you would put a lowercase f and then my last name would be the s and my middle initial I believe that's how you do it now sometimes you may even want to put a star after it so I'm going to do the shift 8 and there's a star Go back to the beginning and shift 8 put a star something like that and there would be your interlocking monograms if you didn't know what character there was to put the star in easy enough you can just double click on your on your baseline and go to character picker and here's all the letters for that font so you can obviously see a capital A is a capital A but it looks like I made the star several different and you can see I can add these stars in or symbols and then close Hope this helps.